you can actually put the crew member's ID number that you do not want to work with. Mm -hmm. And do hopefully, <laughs> do not fly list. <laughs> Hey guys, so I was so nervous this morning that I completely forgot I even had a YouTube and I needed to vlog. Like it was that serious. But I just finished my first first class flight and everything went wonderfully. Y'all meet the crew, Khadija, Damien, oh, no. Clinton. The pilots are over us? there. Where is that? Our, that yeah. That's our ride. We just made it to San Francisco, y'all. It was a nice six hour and two minute flight. That's not it. What is it? Double tree. That's Brisbane. Oh, never mind. That's not it. What? It says what? That says Brisbane. So we have a four day. So it should be fun. Nice fun crew. You know, I like a fun crew. I had to pull them out, y'all. I had to pull them out. Yes. 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 It is. You the real quick. Uh oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, let me see. Those are cute. Let me see Khadijah's. No. Oh no, I love them. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but wait. I love Alexia though. Clinton just pulled out the Gucci on me though. Uh oh. oh. Yes. 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 We have arrived. Ah, I don't have Gucci money yet. <laughs> I gotta get to Clinton's level. <laughs> so we just made it to the hotel. I got my food out of my lunch kit. And I am going to go warm this up because I spent like two and a half hours last night meal prepping for this trip. I ordered more Hello Fresh. And I plan on being good and not spending money on a whole bunch of food. Just finished a great workout. Whew, I didn't know if I was going to do it, y'all. I took a nap as soon as I got here. It was a good three-hour nap. But time change helped. Is this my... Okay. I don't know. I opened that door or if it, I left it open. Mm-mm. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> the bathroom door is closed. Did I leave the bathroom door closed? Y'all? Okay. Ain't nobody here. <laughs> There's nobody under the beds. There's no... Okay. Maybe I'm just tripping. Anyways. <laughs> Y'all, y'all, y'all never know with these hotels. So, uh, so yeah, I got in a really good workout. I'm doing it. Dedication, 30 by 30. Um, I was um gonna do something in San Francisco. I really wanted to go to the ice cream museum out here. I don't know if any of y'all watch um Jackie Ina on YouTube. She's a um, makeup influencer, makeup YouTuber, whatever they call themselves. Um, and I saw in one of her vlogs one day that she went to the Museum of Ice Cream out here. And I really wanted to go, but the tickets from San Francisco are sold out. Boo. But I have a layover in Fort Lauderdale tomorrow, and there's a location in Miami, and they had tickets. So it is about an hour away from where um, our hotel is. But I called up my favorite auntie in Fort Lauderdale. And I told her, I was like, I'll buy you a ticket if you drive me and um, <laughs> my other crew member out there. So we're going to go tomorrow. I'm super, super excited. Tomorrow is um, Super Bowl Sunday, but I'm not really that big into football, so I don't really care. So I'm going to go do that and have a little bit of fun. But I'm probably going to call it a night here. I need to edit a vlog and just kind of relax and wind down. We have a semi-early report tomorrow. Our port is like 7, 10 a.m., but that's like 10 o'clock in New York, so I should be totally fine. But 
see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. Day two of a four day. We are leaving San Francisco, headed to Fort Lauderdale. Everybody's looking all nice and prim and proper this morning. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this is gonna be day two, of course, day two of um, me working first class. Um, I'm a little feeling a little more comfortable so far. Yesterday was good. I'm working with the other um, the F1 on the flight. So when you work first class, you're either going to be the F1 or the F2. So the F1 really is the one that does all the customer interaction, and I'm kind of more behind the scenes, like learning learning the galley and plating the food and little things like that so I'm kind of glad that I'm working this position so I can get more comfortable with the food and the plating and how everything goes um, and he's just training me really well on the sequence of service and all of that stuff even though I've already learned it I'm more of a hands-on person so I'm really glad to be working with him and I just really love my crew we're all West Indian so you know we are cutting up <laughs> But anyways, let's get to this gate and have a good day. Y'all need to talk to me. Which Caribbean are you from? Give me a name. All I'm from three. You from down three? Trinidad, yes, from I was born in St. Martin. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. My dad's from Dominica. My mom is from St. Kitts and Nevis. Trinidad and yeah. Tobago. And? Jamaica. And? Guyana. Yes! Yes! yes. Guyana. yes. I like yes. it. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful thing here in uh, four island folks together. That's all right. Isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. All the melanin. Yes. 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 Yeah, put on some soca. Soca. Yes. Let me hear some soca. You don't have none? You don't have them? No. I have a lot. I want to hear some. Are you serious? Go for it. What do you want to hear? I don't know. I've been a long time removed. I'm sorry, but I still want to get a little bit. Is that a snap? Are you video? It's a vlog. Oh, it's a vlog. Oh, she got us cutting up. Thousands. She said thousands. <laughs> Look at this room. I'm excited, even though it took me 10 minutes to get in here. Okay. This room is cute. So it has a little kitchenette. It's a full suite with a microwave, which is a blessing. Living area. And then it has a nice balcony outside. Okay, that's cute. Oh, this balcony is way bigger than mine. Um, and then, yes, two beds. Y'all know I love two beds. Television. Closets. I like this room. Where's this door go? It don't go nowhere. And then the restroom. Oh, stand-up shower. And me. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm going to take a well-deserved nap. Um, Auntie Sandra is coming to pick me and Khadija up. And we are all going to go to the... Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> We're all going to go to the um, ice cream museum tonight. Super Bowl Sunday. I don't really care about the Super Bowl. So ice cream museum it is. See y'all later. So we have just arrived to the museum of ice cream. The sprinkle power? The sprinkle power, yes. I believe sprinkle. in that. Sprinkle! sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the pickle card, okay? Oh, right, what do you guys have? Hey. Cherry. Oh, she's like, you get a cherry on top of every moment that you have in life. Nice. 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 Oh, she's the ass one princess. <laughs> you were, you're the princess tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yes. And I have a gummy bear. Oh, do you like gummy bears? I do. Yes, I do. You very soft and love it on the inside, just like a gummy bear. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have some fun. Pink Velvet. Pink Velvet.
this place. So melted ice cream. I slept in, it's like 10.30. Which way is this fitness room? Um, trying to find the gym, oh, this way. Gonna get in a good workout. Then after that, might go like lounge or by the pool or something, actually get in the pool. I haven't been in a pool in forever. Um, but yeah, continue on with the day. So let's go. That workout was everything that I needed. I went and looked at the pool, it doesn't look that enticing. And I just realized there's an H&M right across the street. And I need to go to H&M and get some more tights because I didn't bring enough for this trip. Balcony and then boom, H&M right there. And maybe in this little shopping strip right over there, I can find the nail shop because I want to get my nails done, like always. Oh, but that, that's not like a horrible view. It would have been nice if I had a view of the water though. But anywho, I'm going to eat some breakfast or brunch whatever now and then carry on with my day our report shuttle report is like 3 30 and it's like almost 12 right now so i gotta hurry up just finished the longest flight ever it felt like water wasn't working had to go back to the gate but hey give them the walk <laughs> It was a long journey from Fort Lauderdale, but we made it. Time, your time pieces. Get some your time pieces accordingly. Where are we going? Well, for this those way. bloggers out there and those of you who are interested in the cabin crew life, it is wonderful. Yes. And um, have a pleasant evening. Get some rest. <laughs> I'm so tired. It is 9:25. We are in Los Angeles, California. That was a long flight, y'all. Boy, oh boy, these transcon flights, transcontinental flights, across country flights, east coast to west coast flights. Oh, yeah. I'm enjoying it though. I'm I'm really I'm really really glad that I'm uh, doing first class, our mint portion of the aircraft. The people up there so far are just really chill and really relaxed, not as needy as the people in the uh, core cabin, you know, the, uh, the other folks in the back of the plane. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so what happened today, what, oh my gosh, side note, I've been doing some deadlifts at the gym, you know, when you go down and you come back up like straight down. Woo! My legs have been on fire all day. But um, that's that 30 by 30. I'm getting there. Um, but what happened on the aircraft today was um, 
was trying to make coffee for a customer while we were still on the ground during boarding. The water wasn't working. And sometimes, you know, they turn off the water when they're refilling the water, etc., etc. So, no big deal. And then, after we're taxiing out from the gate, um, we finished doing our safety demo. I go to the restroom to wash my hands like I always do. It's just a habit of mine that I have. I always go right after we're done doing the safety demo. I go and wash my hands. Press the little button for the water. Nothing comes out. That means there's an issue. Water should be working fine. You know, we're backed away from the gate. Maintenance is no longer working on the plane. So we call the captain and let him know that there's no water coming from the faucet. So it's like the sink. Um, and then in the, the kitchen galleys, like the coffee pot and things like that, where we get our hot water from, none of that was working. Y'all know what this man said? <laughs> he said, well, are the toilets working? And one of the toilets wasn't working, wasn't flushing. The other ones were. He's like, well, the toilets are working fine. He's like, well, just give the customers water bottles and sanitary napkins to wash their hands. <laughs> just thinking about it it's, it's funny now in the moment it wasn't funny so we were on an all call the entire crew was on the phone talking to the captain he said that we all said um no <laughs> we're going back to the gate he was like so y'all want to go back to the gate to fix the water yes it's supposed to be a 5 hour and 17 minute flight and you want me to tell these people we ain't got no water at the sink, you want me to give them b water bottles to wash their hands? We don't even get catered for extra water bottles to wash your hands. We run out, we'll run run out of water bottles just from people being thirsty. Now you're telling me to give them water bottles to wash their hands? <sighs> he was a joke. But, um, so we ended up going back to the gate. They fixed it, simple fix. While they were refilling the water, they forgot to close the valve, whatever, whatever. They closed it. We were on our way. But it just made for a long day. Ugh. And then eventually when Captain came out for his little potty break, he apologized. And, you know, he was just thinking that it probably wasn't that big of a deal. But that is a big deal. A five plus hour flight without no water. No, that's nasty. <sighs> but anyways, um, the trip has still been really good. The crew is great. Really nice flight. Besides that, I, re I like it when customers are super appreciative and tell you how much they enjoy the flight when they're deep planning. So that's always nice. It makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. And I'm doing really, really good in um, the first class section. Like I'm catching on really, really quick. So that's exciting also. I will feel comfortable enough to work the number one position on my next flight or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm dog tired. Like, I'm done. I should be asleep right now, but I'm talking to y'all, so good. Good morning. We are set up and ready to board. Say good morning. A pleasant good morning. <laughs> All right, time to board. Goodbye. Alrighty, y'all. Well, this is going to be the end of the vlog. Thank you for coming along with me for the longest four days it felt like. But I enjoyed it. My crew was great. The cities were great. I did wonderfully in first class. Had a few little hiccups. <laughs> no water. I didn't even tell you about the crazy dog. We had a a um was it a service animal or emotional support? I think it was an emotional support animal that would not stop barking at us on this flight back to JFK today. So uh, those are very sensitive situations, so we just called ahead of time before we got to the gate. We had a customer resolution officer meet us at the gate, and they dealt with the customer and her dog. Um, and just simply, you know, it's y'all know I love dogs. I have nothing against a dog. I got two of them at home, and they're both crazy, and they bark. I'm not scared of a barking dog, but this the fact of the matter is, is that not everyone on the airplane is comfortable with the dog and god forbid anything was to happen to the customer the dog is growling and barking at us every time we pass by her seat so if, you know if anything if we need to give her any type of medical attention we would not be able to do that properly with her dog trying to attack us so this is why you know emotional support animals and things like that so it's a big deal that they really should be trained as emotional support animals and not just Oh, let me buy um, a certificate says that they're this so they don't have to sit in the cage on the airplane. 
Anyways, it was a good trip. For nonetheless, it was a great trip. I'm off for a few days and then back to the sky. So. Oh, and one last thing. I'm so proud of myself. I didn't buy one bit of food this entire trip. Let me make sure I'm not lying. No, nothing. I packed my lunch, I cooked all my HelloFresh, I made smoothies, I brought bottles of water, and I ate it. <laughs> it's possible, y'all. It is possible. I didn't think it was possible, but I just totally proved myself wrong. Go me. And look, I'm off and I'm in the crew lounge and I'm still eating the food that I brought with me four days later. Hey, that's how you save a coin, yes! It's so fun that January is over no longer her birthday it's extended it's over it's january 2.0 it's over fawn just got back from a trip fawn how was your first first class experience that was my second oh fawn worked two two days and i worked one four days so it's all the same how was first it one was eh. my second one was great oh what was wrong with the first one? Oh, what was that I don't think I've ever seen... No, y'all have seen Fawn in her uniform. She does actually work every now and then. So, how was the first one? What was wrong with it? Okay. She's good as a friend. She does not good to fly with. So, she didn't like the crew member that she was working with. That happens a lot. Nothing nothing surprising. It's called a do not fly list. Yeah. yeah. So, when you're bidding... <laughs> just, <laughs> just so y'all know. When you're bidding... For your trips and things like this, days you want to work, trips you want to have, layovers you want to have, times you don't want to work. It's a whole list of stuff that they allow us to be picky about. You can actually put the crew member's ID number that you do not want to work with. Mm -hmm. And do hopefully, <laughs> do not fly list. Literally. Mm -hmm. It's like the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy that they even have it. It blew my mind when I first found out about it. I was like, what? They let you say that you don't want to work with this person, but it's there. It's literally there. Mm -hmm. So, hey, if you work with somebody that you don't like, like you just know you can never work with them again, mm -hmm. you just put them in your pocket and write them down on that list <laughs> and never catch another parent with them again. And if you do, you just drop it. Bye-bye. Okay, now this is really going to be the end because... I was sitting here editing this actual vlog that I'm going to add this to, and Fawn walked in, so I just decided to add her in it. Good night, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye!